Hello friends, this is teacher JB. Today we are going to study English through general knowledge. And today's topic is advice for staying warm and safe in freezing weather. Advice for staying warm and safe in freezing weather. Now let us study some words. The first one, injury to someone caused by severe cold, usually to their toes fingers, ears, or nose that causes permanent loss of tissue. Injury to someone caused by severe cold, usually to their toes, fingers, ears, or nose that causes permanent loss of tissue is frostbite. Frostbite. Frostbite is a noun and has two syllables, F-R-O-S-T-B-I-T-E, actually the first syllable, Frostbite. So the frostbite is not only two syllabled word, but also it's a compound word, frost and bite. Frostbite means injury to someone caused by severe cold, usually to their toes, fingers, ears, or nose, that causes permanent loss of tissue. The next one, a serious medical condition in which a person's body temperature falls below the usual level as a result of being in severe cold for a long time. A serious medical condition in which a person's body temperature falls below the usual level as a result of being in severe cold for a long time is hypothermia. Hypothermia. Hypothermia is a noun. It has five syllables. H Y P O T H E R M I A, actually, the third syllable, third, hypothermia. Hypothermia means a serious medical condition in which a person's body temperature falls below the usual level as a result of being in severe cold for a long time. The next one, very large in amount or degree very large in amount or degree the word is extreme 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 is an adjective and it has two syllables e x t r e m e and then actually x has two sounds k and s so it becomes extreme extreme it means very large in amount or degree the next one lasting for a long time or forever. Lasting for a long time or forever, the word is permanent. Permanent. Permanent is an adjective and it has three syllables. P-E-R-M-A-N-E-N-T. Excellent, the first syllable. Permanent. Permanent means lasting for a long time or forever. The next one, a group of connected cells in an animal or plant that are similar to each other. A group of connected cells in an uh, animal or plant that are similar to each other. The word is tissue. Tissue. Tissue is a noun. It has two syllables. T-I-S-S-U-E. Actually, the first syllable. Tissue. Tissue is a group of connected cells in an animal or plant that are similar to each other. The last one, the decay of a part of a person's body because the blood has stopped flowing there. The decay of a part of a person's body because the blood has stopped flowing there. The word is gangrene. Gangrene. Gangrene is a noun and it has two syllables. G R A N G R E N E X in the second syllable gangrene. I'm sorry, G A N G A N G R E N E gangrene. Gangrene is the decay of a part of a person's body because the blood has stopped flowing there. Frostbite, hypothermia, extreme, permanent tissue. Gangrene. Based on the words we just have studied, 
uh, let us read the passage and listen to the audio at the same time. Freezing weather can mean frostbite and hypothermia unless a person is prepared. Today, we talk about how to stay warm, dry, and safe. Frostbite is damage that happens when skin is exposed to extreme cold for too long. It mainly happens on the hands, feet, nose, and ears. People with minor cases of frostbite that affect only the skin may not suffer any permanent damage. But if deeper tissue is affected, a person is likely to feel pain every time the area gets cold. If blood vessels are damaged, people can suffer a gangrene infection. Sometimes the only way doctors can treat an injury like this is to remove frostbitten areas like fingers and toes. Well, let us study some more words. To grow or change into a more advanced, larger, or stronger form. To cause something to grow or change into a more advanced, larger, or stronger form is develop. Develop. Develop is a verb and it has uh, three syllables. D-E, V-E-L, O-P, actually on the second syllable, develop. Develop means to cause something to grow or change into a more advanced, larger, or stronger form. The next one, to allow a substance to flow out from somewhere. To allow a substance to flow out from somewhere, the word is release. Release. Release is a verb and it has two syllables, R-E-L-E-A-S-E. -E -E. Release, actually on the second syllable. It means to allow a substance to flow out from somewhere. The next one, too strong or violent to be controlled. Too strong or violent to be controlled. The word is uncontrollable. Uncontrollable, un, negative, controllable, you can control. So cannot control. Uncontrollable, it's an adjective and it has five syllables. U-N, C-O-N. T R O and then L L A B L E. Action on the third syllable, troll. Uncontrollable. Uncontrolled, uncontrollable. It means too strong or violent to be uh, controlled. The next one physical harm or damage to someone's body caused by an accident or an attack. Physical harm or damage to someone's body caused by an accident or an attack. The word is injury. Injury. Injury is a noun. It has three syllables. I-N-J-U-R-Y. Actually, the first syllable, injury. Injury. Injury means physical harm or damage to someone's body caused by an accident or an attack. The last one, a type of glove with a single part for all the fingers and a separable part for the thumb. A type of glove with a single part for all the fingers and a separate part for the thumb. The word is mittens. Mittens. And mittens is a noun. It has uh, two syllables. M-I-T-T-E-N-S. Actually, the first double, meat, mittens. Mittens is a type of glove with a single part of all the fingers and a separate part for the thumb. Develop, release, uncontrollable, injury, mittens. Based on the words we have just studied, uh, let us read the passage as we listen to the audio. Hypothermia is a condition that develops when the body cannot produce as much heat 
as it releases. Signs of hypothermia include uncontrollable shaking, very slow breathing, and difficulty thinking clearly. Hypothermia can lead to death if the person does not receive help. To avoid cold-related injuries, here is a simple way to remember four basic steps to staying warm. Think of cold, C-O-L-D. The C stands for cover. Wear a hat and scarf to keep heat from escaping through the head, neck, and ears. And wear mittens instead of gloves. In gloves, the fingers are separated so the hands might not stay as warm as they would in mittens. Now let us study the last two set of vocabulary. The first one, overuse of mental or physical effort. Overuse of mental or physical effort. The word is overexertion. Overexertion. Overexertion is a noun and it has five syllables. O, V, E, R, E, X, E, R, T, I, O, N. Accent on the first syllable, Zertion. Zertion. And actually, X has two sounds, K and Z. So, exertion. Exertion. Overexertion. It means overuse of mental or physical effort. The next one, the mixture you get when two or more things are combined. The mixture you get when two or more things are combined. The word is combination. Combination. Combination is a noun. It has four syllables. C-O-M-B-I-N-A-T-I-O-N. Actually, on the third syllable, ne. Combination. Combination means the mixture you get when two or more things are combined. The next one, a level of material, such as a type of rock or gas, that is different from the material above or below it, or a thin sheet of a substance. A level of material, such as a type of rock or gas, that is different from the material above or below it, or a thin sheet of a substance. The word is layer. Layer. Layer is a noun and it has two syllables. L-A-Y-E-R. X in the first syllable. Layer. Layer is a level of material, such as a type of rock or gas, that is different from the material above or below it, or a thin sheet of a substance, layer. The next one, weighing only a little or less than average. Weighing only a little or less than average, the word is lightweight, lightweight. Lightweight can be a noun and it can be an adjective. And then uh, just as an adjective, it has two syllables. L-I-G-H-T, W-E-I-G-H-T, and then X on the first syllable. So it is not only a two-syllable word, but also it's a compound word, light and weight. Lightweight, weighing only a little or less than average. The next one, water-resistant clothing or material does not absorb water when it is raining lightly. Water-resistant clothing or material does not absorb water when it is raining lightly. The word is water-resistant. Water-resistant. Water-resistant or water-repellent or waterproof. So water-resistant is an adje adjective and it's a compound word. And water, as you know, it has two syllables, water, actually on the first syllable, water, and resistant. Resistant has three syllables, resistant, and actually on the second syllable, water resistant.
for water repellent or waterproof. It means water resistant clothing or material does not absorb water when it is raining lightly. The last one to cause to become less strong, powerful, determined, or effective. Two cause to become less strong, powerful, determined, or effective. The word is weaken. Weaken. And weaken is an adjective. It has two syllables. Uh, I'm sorry. Weaken is a verb and it has two syllables. W E A K. Weak as an adjective. And then E N as a uh, just like a uh, a suffix which makes uh, the adjective a verb. Wicken, actually on the first syllable, wicken. Wicken means to cause to become less strong, powerful, determined, or effective. Wicken. Overexertion, combination, layer, lightweight, water resistant, wicken. Based on the words we have just studied, let us read the passage as we listen to it. The O stands for overexertion. Avoid activities that will make you sweaty. Wet clothes and cold weather are a dangerous combination. L is for layers. Wearing loose, lightweight clothes, one layer on top of another, is better than wearing a single heavy layer of clothing. Make sure outerwear is made of material that is water resistant and tightly knit. D is for dry. In other words, stay as dry as possible. Pay attention to the places where snow can enter clothing. These include the tops of boots, the necks of coats, and the wrist areas of mittens or gloves. And here are two other things to keep in mind, one for children and the other for adults. Eating snow might be fun, but it lowers the body's temperature. And drinking alcohol might make a person feel warm. But what it really does is weaken the body's ability to hold heat. Now let us listen to the audio from the beginning to the end. Listen carefully. Freezing weather can mean frostbite and hypothermia unless a person is prepared. Today, we talk about how to stay warm, dry, and safe. Frostbite is damage that happens when skin is exposed to extreme cold for too long. It mainly happens on the hands, feet, nose, and ears. People with minor cases of frostbite that affect only the skin may not suffer any permanent damage. But if deeper tissue is affected, a person is likely to feel pain every time the area gets cold. If blood vessels are damaged, People can suffer a gangrene infection. Sometimes the only way doctors can treat an injury like, like this is to remove frostbitten areas like fingers and toes. Hypothermia is a condition that develops when the body cannot produce as much heat as it releases. Signs of hypothermia include uncontrollable shaking, very slow breathing, and difficulty thinking clearly. Hypothermia can lead to death if the person does not receive help. To avoid cold-related injuries, here is a simple way, way to remember four basic steps to staying warm. Think of cold. C-O-L-D. The C stands for cover. Wear a hat and scarf to keep heat from escaping through the head, neck, and ears. And wear mittens instead of gloves. In gloves, the fingers are separated 
so the hands might not stay as warm as they would in mittens. The O stands for overexertion. Avoid activities that will make you sweaty. Wet clothes and cold weather are a dangerous combination. L is for layers. Wearing loose, lightweight clothes, one layer on top of another, is better than wearing a single heavy layer of clothing. Make sure outerwear is made of material that is water-resistant and tightly knit. D is for dry. In other words, stay as dry as possible. Pay attention to the places where snow can enter clothing. These include the tops of boots, the necks of coats, and the wrist areas of mittens or gloves. And here are two other things to keep in mind, one for children and the other for adults. E eating snow might be fun, but it lowers the body's temperature. And drinking alcohol might make a person feel warm. But what it really does is weaken the body's ability to hold Okay, friends, this is the conclusion of today's study. I will come back to you with another topic as soon as possible. Until then, keep studying English and have a great day. Bye.